there is a difference between chocolate and chocolate. And I want to explain the difference between a private Gmail account and a G Suite account. So let's jump right into that. It's very tool focused and very narrow, but you can use it if you're a small team or startup because you can also like use it for other tool worlds that you work on. It's also good to know that if you're a corporate client, because that's a question we get more and more often. The experience I made in my last company, when I joined that company, we were like 10 people, 12 people, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I joined that team. And the first thing I saw was the company, company email accounts were something like name.companyname at googlemail.com. This is, this is really bad. I mean, it's, it's what you have if you do that, you give people a private Gmail account that is a totally different compliance account and they have the autonomy about that account. So what happened was we had one girl leaving the company, not in a very good way. And she took like all the data with her, like the laptop, everything was on the laptop back then. It wasn't cloud-based. Everything was in the Gmail account, in the personal Gmail account. So there was no chance to access that stuff. And this was the start for me to what we do today for this company here, for Blackboat, and working with professional cloud accounts. Uh, seven years ago now, six years ago, six years ago. And there are like 20 and more differences between the two worlds because these are really two worlds. But the three areas that you should keep in mind and I try to sum up everything under these three areas are ownership, scalability and backup. By ownership, I mean features like First of all, you have a contract, so you can show legal authorities that you have an actual contract with that provider and you are allowed to sending data back and forth. But by ownership, I mean something that goes far beyond that. By ownership, I mean that you, of course, have your company email address and the aliases that you can give to people so other people know, okay, this is actually a company. But moreover, you are actually able to give people access to certain accounts and actually give access through that account, like, all the files we had all the files within that account and we could like give that from one person to another person and now with team drive for example you can like keep all the files within the company and you don't have a mess of all the different files this goes far beyond as i said email aliases signatures and like putting your logo into the gmail account which are also features if they have their private gmail account you have to like give access from externally and there is never the relation of that document to actually the company that's a really big issue. And I see that even with corporate clients that they use shared, let's say, uh, sheets or documents because it's very convenient to use these with their private Gmail account and give access to people in a corporate environment. Scalability. By scalability, I mean the ease of use if you grow or like do something in the company very fast. So to me, speed is everything within a small team. This is how you outperform larger corporations. If you're not able to like get up to speed, this will slow you down. So anything that is related to administration, uh, emails, documents, that is not our core business. I outsource that to a provider who's better with that. And what will slow you down if you use a personal Gmail account and you try to migrate stuff, let's say even afterwards to a business account or to a new person, you always have to like copy and download. There is a, there is a, there is a separation between the G Suite accounts and the Gmail accounts. So people tend to think that with Google, you just press one button and then it uploads everything and fine. But this is not the case. So you actually have to then copy and bring that all there. Having a G Suite account enables you to like migrate data from one to another person, to migrate even accounts or to add another company to the account, to have like more of the company. So it, it is the basis for scalability, but also because you can like keep your administration lean. So we, we also administrate these devices via this account. So our people can bring their own devices and we have the mobile device management built into that G Suite account, which you don't have with a private account. And also stuff like the, the apps that we add to the account. So our CRM tool, our time tracking, um, I don't know, like all the other stuff that we use, even Slack are administrated through that account. So that is the basis for scalability because it's so easy to have this core tool and then build everything else around that. And of course, also as a corporate client, you have another support that you can access and stuff like that. But this is a minor reason, so scalability. And number three is the backup. With a private Gmail account, you can of course have a 
additional backup to that. And people think like, okay, it's Google, so it will be there and there is a backup of the backup of the backup. But it can happen that you lose files for whatever reason. People delete stuff. Oh my goodness, what's the procedure? What do we do, people? The are dead. Oh, oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What? Especially in a corporate environment when you have a lot of projects going on. Stay calm. And you, you need a certain file and it's deleted, it's gone, it's not there. Okay, we're trapped, everyone for himself. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Get out of my way. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Get out of my way. You want proper backup. So we always make sure we have the company account where we have the clear ownership of all the documents within the company and then back that stuff up to another cloud service, in our case, AWS, so Amazon. Um, but that's just one example. You can do the same with Office 365 and AWS or like vice versa. So you have these two worlds. My thoughts were like, okay, if both of them are gone and we don't have access to the files, most likely we have a bigger problem than not accessing my files, but it's very, very likely that I can access either one of these. And if I delete something accidentally, I can back that stuff up into the cloud. So that's, that's the major reason why we use these professional tools. But in daily business, it's also stuff like you delete a user and you're able to like bring the user back for 30 days with a business account or you delete documents which are then really gone, gone and you can bring them back if people deleted stuff. You also have like, not this is not backup stuff, but especially in Europe, you have to um, show authorities that you document all the business um, files and all the business stuff that you have. And through the business account, you actually have a professional filing system that like keeps all the potential business communication in a database. So if there is a reason, if there is a lawsuit or whatever, you can access all that stuff. And this is all ease of use, backup, and stuff that you wanna make sure as a company you're able like to provide. Yeah, so very hands-on video. I hope that was helpful. I know there are many people out there who know that already, but I see it still very often that people use a private Gmail account for accessing these data. Don't do that. Set up a proper business account. So. If that was helpful, let me know. If not, let me also know and let's discuss what we should do for the next week. And there will be something coming up next week that's very exciting that I will share with you in the next video. So, see you next week. Neben der Salami. <lacht>